YouTube, YouTube. We're about to jump into the unboxing and review of the PSA AK-47 GF-3 Soviet Arm Rifle. I've been having this for quite some time. I've had it, I think, for about, maybe about two months so far, and I've just been waiting to do this review slash unboxing, so I'm super excited, guys. I have the box right here, and we're about to get into it. All right, let's check this AK-47 out, guys. Here we go. This is it right here in the box. And of course, we got the uh, Heretic knife right here. Really nice collector's piece. You can't find these anymore. So knife review is coming soon too. So be on the lookout for that. Slice that right open, no problem, super easy. Open the box, and this is nice. So right here, first item, you have your magazine polymer. You know how many this has in it. I don't have to say it on YouTube. And here is the AK-47. Beautiful. That's it right there. Appreciate that, Palmetto. That's it right there. That's what it looks like. So you get that also in the box. Okay, what else we get here? Looks like you get the Soviet Arms AK-47 manual. That comes in the bag. And you get your chamber flag also in here. And your Palmetto State Armory sticker. So you get one of these too. So let's go ahead, let's do a review and check it out. All right, so here it is. So let's do a safety check first to make sure nothing is in the chamber at all. Okay, that's it right there. Nothing in the chamber, guys, at all. Going safe. Now let's check out this uh, wood right here. This wood is amazing. The color is called black satin and it is a beautiful color as you can see right here, okay? You do have it on your handle. You also have it on your handguard area right here that you can see. And it's just a really dark, beautiful color. Now the thing about this, I'm wondering will it scratch really, really easy? So we'll see once I get it out there to the range and see what it looks like. But it is just a beautiful, beautiful color. I know a lot of you guys are gonna love this fact about the AK-47. It is a forged AK-47. So it does have a hammer forged trunnion, a hammer forged bolt, and a hammer forged carrier on this AK-47. So a lot of people can appreciate that. It is chambered in 762 by 39, and it also has a twist rate of one in 9.5 inches is a gas nitride 4150 treated steel barrel. And of course, it's treated for durability and accuracy. All right, right here you do have your safety selector. And of course, it's on safe. And then you can also put it in the firing mode right here. Now, something that I did notice, guys, is that it does get little scratches in this area right here. But a lot of people tell me who have AK-47s that that's a known issue, that it will get scratched up in that area where the selector is at. It also has areas for your sling. So right here, you have an area for your sling, and then you also have another area right here for your sling, so if you wanna carry it over the shoulder. On the other side right here, you do have your side mount, and this is where you can put accessory rails, guys. So I'm actually gonna attach an accessory rail right here to run an optic, and I have a Picatinny rail right there. I'm gonna run an optic right there, instead of using these sights. The sights are not bad at all, but I like to run red dots on things like this. And they can be kind of tricky putting on your red dot in this area, so make sure you look it up on YouTube how to put your rail in this area right here. This also has a 45 degree gas block right here in this area. And right here you do have your front sight base, and right here you have your side leaf. And I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you can see this side leaf and how it's manufactured and how it looks. You get a standard 800 yard rear sight leaf with this AK-47. All right, so right here you do have a cover that covers your spring and bolt in this area. And then there's a button on the back right here and you can press this just like this and take the cover off. So I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like up under there. All right, so in this area right here, guys, like I said, this is the spring and bolt area 
All the mechanisms just look beautiful in this area, actually. You will see that it has a nice lubricant oil in this area. If you look really, really close towards the bottom, you can even see the wiring in this area. You can even put your cans on this thing too, guys. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. And it's pretty, pretty simple. Right here, it's a little bitty button that you can press right there. Okay, and if you press this button down, you can twist this cap completely, completely off, but you gotta press down on it in that area. All right, so let's go ahead real quick and look at the magazine. Of course, it looks like it's pretty good quality right here. All right, so for those that don't know, the way that you put it in is a little bit different from an AR-15. So you kind of have to cock it this way and just fit it in that way, guys, okay? And then there's a little lip area right here, as you can see. If you hit this with your thumb, that's how you take it out. You can put it right back in and it's ready to go. Let's go ahead real quick and let's look at the uh, trigger and see how that functions. Of course, we're gonna make sure it's empty. Of course it is, once again. All right, so this trigger is a little bit different and I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can see it here, okay? Well, this is a mil spec style single hook trigger and it's different, here we go. All right, so this is your take up and there's no wall, guys. It literally rolls into the brake with that. All right, let's try it again. Sit right there. That's your take up and it just rolls. It rolls into that brake. With this trigger, you gotta expect for it to go off when you press down on that trigger. Let's go ahead and weigh the trigger real quick. All right, so here's the trigger scale. I'm gonna go ahead and set it on zero. And it's set on zero. Let's try it out real quick. All right, so right there, it actually broke it. Three pounds, guys, three pounds. Let's try it again. Awkward position to be in. Sit right there. So that one right there broke at four and a half. Let's try it one more time. Reset. And that's it. So it broke at about three pounds on that one, guys. So the trigger is pretty, it's decent. I would say that it's a decent trigger, but it is not a long take up at all. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick peek of the uh, chamber area here. So that's it right there. And you can see in the inside. And we're about to go ahead real quick, guys, and put the accessories on this bad boy and get out to the range. So this is the accessory rail that I chose right here, guys, from Midwest Industries. That's what it looks like. It has the Picatinny rail right here. I got this from Midwest Industries online. And then also I'm running as far as my red dot, the Romeo 7S. So that's what it looks like right there. Okay, we're about to go ahead and put it on. You just slide it into position like that. And then you clamp down on it just like that. So that's it. And that boy is ready to go. So that's it. That's how it looks. Just like that. All right. And it has a really nice look. It's like a side saddle type Picatinny rail. You have it right here. And that's how it looks on this side. All right, so we're about to go ahead real quick and uh, let's get into some range footage real quick. We're out here at OK Corral and we're about to experience in this shoot this AK-47 by Palmetto State Armory and it is black satin. Beautiful color. You already seen what type of optic I'm running on this gun already. All right, and also the uh, side little saddle thingy, whatever, uh, Picatinny rail at the top. So we're about to get into it. 762 by 39 ammo we're gonna be shooting right here. All right, let's get it. Let's see how this recoil is. If it has pretty good recoil and if it's manageable, it should be, I zeroed it. So it should be really, really good. And y'all let me know out there, man, if y'all have one of these AKs and how you like it. Let's go ahead, let's, Paul, you think we should play with it, bro? Yeah, let them have it. Let's, let's play with it a little bit, man. Like we got a little jammy right there, that's okay. A little jammy. Shoot metal, guys. Beautiful. Man. 
I really like this one. Paul, I'm loving this, bro. Me too. Bro. This boy is nice. Put it on safe. When I say I felt that. And you know what else about this gun too? With this gun, got a couple of more rounds, guys. With this gun right here, the wood actually has grip. I did not think it was gonna have any grip at all, but even with my hand sweating, it still grips really, really good on this wood. So you're not gonna have an issue with that. I thought that was gonna be a big issue, but it's not. All right, let's go ahead, get the rest of these rounds. This nice. I like this. Empty. I like this, Paul. But let's see how accurate it is. Let's go ahead and get some rounds on paper real quick. So here's the target, guys. So the target down here will be shooting. It's paper now. And got one, two, three, four, five bullseyes right there that I'll be shooting at. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at the middle one right there number three paul what you think so far bro i like having a beard huh are you talking about this <laughs> um, you stupid i think i think it's accurate incredibly accurate yeah and it's a nice shoot too we've been kind of practicing out here at the range too guys so this thing is really really nice it's kind of surprising me to be honest yeah i think after you zeroed it in i think I mean, the groupings were tight. Yeah. It just felt good. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Just don't let it come back and hit your car. Nope. That ain't happening. We're going for five, guys. Let me see how tight these groupings are. Stop playing with us, boy. Tech car gun fanatics, alien gang. We in here, for real, Flint Town, Tennessee, Nashville. We ain't out here playing with y'all. Oh man, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man. Yeah, damn. Boy, you gotta have some muscles for this shit. Cause this boy got some weight on him. For real, Paul, Paul yeah. the fifth, you ready, boy? Yeah, let's go. You ready? Uh, let's keep let's this take on. a look at what you did real quick. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they won't think it's a fluke. Stop playing, man. Ain't no flukes out here. Grouping's tight, tighter than her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead, show him, man. Man, this dude didn't hit nothing. Stop playing, man. Go and show him three, bro. Yeah. Headshots, man. I had one little, one little kabdunk dunk down there, but hey, I take it. Yeah. Paul, you up next, bro. Okay, let's go. You up next, my boy. All right, gang. We got Paul the fifth on here. You ready, my boy? We'll see. Let's get it. Okay. Yeah. Paul like this, y'all. I do. I, and he he hated. He really did. Why you coming so close? Because I'm blind. And I can't see <laughs> Back up. Get close to black and white girl. We going far out right there, right there. You good? Right here. Um, he didn't even. You didn't like AK-47s at first, did you? I did not. Why? For what reason, bro? Just the way it looked, huh? I don't. Okay, I'll say this. I didn't understand what it was about until i got to shoot this i didn't Experience understand it. the power yeah and what it could do all right well he 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 uh ak-47 gang now boy let's get it he yeah. like him now all right i'm ready okay yeah. my glass is fogging up again so uh, you want to clean them real quick yeah go ahead okay all right here we go guys paul the fifth on him let's get it yeah yeah let's see how tight which one you aiming at what uh number number one 
Yep, one. Pre precision shooting, man. So let's see if we can hit that one. Keep the groupings tight. Yeah. Bottom. Yep, I got her. Take your time. And just keep going. Good job. That boy pushing them back. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's see what let's we see got. How we did. <laughs> how you feel about it? You're right. I man. noticed it was kind of rocking you a little bit, though. Yeah, that was uh, rocking. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> it is heavy. There you go. All right, so y'all let us know. There we go. Part of fifth groupings right there. Number one. So okay. you had you had three Lucy Gooseys. Yeah. Damn. Lucy Goosey, Lucy Goosey, you had another one. All of these were super tight. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. How many more rounds in there? It's it's empty. That's it? Yeah. All right. I'm about to get five more rounds and then that's it. I'll say this. For not shooting it after an extremely long time. Yeah. Oh no, that was pretty good. And then another thing too, the more and more you get acclimated of shooting, the more comfortable you become with the gun. Right. It's that simple. You know what I mean? Facts. Let me get five shots and then we're gonna wrap it up. All right, here we go, guys. Do a little metal here. Steel, they call it. Can't find the hole. All right. Five shots for the road. That's it. On safe, drop the mag. All right, guys, so let me know what you guys think about this AK-47. This thing is beautiful. It shoots well. Again, I was mistaken about the grips because I did not think that the grips would have really, I mean, the hand grip, pistol grip, whatever you want to call it, would not have good grip, but it has exceptionally good grip, especially on the handguard wood area is really, really good. So this is most definitely, definitely a solid AK-47. It'll be in the description below. All right, so I appreciate you guys watching the video to the end. There will be a link in the description below to Palmetto uh, if you're considering looking at this bad boy. So just click on the link. I'll also have a link to the red dot right here and I'll have a link to Midwest Industries right here also. But remember when I do link, the AK-47, it'll link over to my campsite page uh, for some of these items, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about the video. Was it anything that I missed that you may wanna see in the next video? Just drop it in the comment section below. And also, are you more of an AK-47 type guy or are you more of a AR-15 type individual? Let me know in the comment section, like I said, or do you like both of them like I do? All right, please like, comment, subscribe smash that notification bell so when I roll out the latest videos, you'll be able to receive them. And remember, I'm not from this planet.